Mm. All right. Chili. Oh yeah, it's getting a little, little nipply out there. Yeah, very nipply. So uh, we watched a movie tonight uh, on the recommendation of a friend of you and me, friend of yes. the show, Brian. Yep. This he, I asked him. I said, "Best movie you've watched in the last month?" Yeah. Split second. Split second. Rutger Hauer, Kim Cattrall. Yeah, I read on the back. Venom. Some dude uh, from that wrote Fast and Furious wrote this movie. Yeah. Don't don't see the. I, I don't see the. Okay. I don't see the trait. He was, uh, he was in training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> training. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. All right, that's for tra- tradition. Worst whiskey in the world. Yep. I think you got a heavier shot than me, so good it's luck with that. Yep. Oh! We had such good whiskey earlier. We did. That taste is what they're post-apocalyptic. It's what that would taste like. Yeah, the um, the horrible future of 2008. Yeah, 2008, where everything's in water. Global warming happened. Yeah, and it rains a lot. It, it rains a lot in England. Rains a lot. No different than what it was before. Who would before. have thought London got rain? I didn't know. I've never been there. Now, actually, the thing, like, one of my favorite things about this movie is the setting. Is is the... Every, everything is wet and filthy. Wet and filthy. Gross. I feel gross watching it. Yeah, his yes. apartment is just oh, the worst. That's the worst of it all. It, his apartment is the worst down place. into the club and everything, but that apartment. Look, he had canned, like, chocolate stuck on his refrigerator. Yeah. And the girl ate one. Yeah, she it was a prison. Yes, yeah. it was there's in the a, heart. There's, there's pigeons Perfect. flying around. He's got pigeons. Yeah, in this place. Why would you eat anything... From there. Why would you stay the night in there? I imagine she had a better place. At one point, <laughs> he picks up a, a mug of coffee that's just in his kitchen, and it's got cigarette butts floating in it, yes. and he drinks it. He drinks it. Yeah. There's there's a motorcycle engine in the sink too. Yeah. There's an engine in the sink. Yeah, I didn't notice. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah. That sounds right. His yeah. name is Harley. His Harley name, Stone. Harley Stone. He's got a Harley Davidson. He's like, oh, it's a nice bike. They don't ever ride his bike. But. No. It's just on at one point yeah. for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> why, why is this on? I don't know. I was in the shower. Talking about But, uh, yeah, we jumped ahead. But. Yeah. <laughs> this movie, it's, it's like take a little bit of slasher, mix it with Predator, and yeah. mix that with like Blade Runner's poor, poor ass cousin. Yeah, definitely seemed like they were kind of going for like a Blade Runner vibe in this. Yeah. With the neon lights. It's yeah. always raining at dark. But. Yeah, it's always dark. Like I say, the settings are cool. Like you, you see, you can see, you see rats everywhere. That's kind of part of the theme of the movie. Rats. Rats, just rats everywhere. Yeah. rats. And just garbage just floating around disgusting everybody's driving jeeps because there's like two feet of water yeah everywhere you go in the city yeah you brought up a good point i would hate to be on set for that every day and you know they had to take at least six months so it's like six months of just waiting around in water soggy soggy yeah you could have got trench foot filled yeah. in this movie <laughs> 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 so what's this movie about? Rutger Hauer plays this crazy cop. Yes. He's a loose cannon, obviously. Oh, he's always a loose cannon. But they, they, somebody asked early on, like they're talking about him. And they're like, "What's his deal?" And the police, I think it was the police chief, is like, "He's fueled on." Coffee, oh, yeah. chocolate, and anxiety. Yeah, coffee, chocolate, anxiety, and sugar, I think it was what he, it, yeah. He, yeah, he'll fill it, he, he just, he's constantly stuffing chocolate in his face. He's wanting coffee. He, oh, yeah, and he chain smokes cigars. Yes. Like, yep. small cigars, like I've got laying around somewhere yeah. in my pocket here. Well, yeah, a little bit bigger than cigarettes. I don't know the names of them, but... That's what, what he does. Yeah. And he just and he's 
he's on the track of this killer who was who killed his partner and disappeared and has now returned. Yeah. God damn it, doesn't that sound just like I see you? It does. This Sylvester Stallone that killed his partner, killed his wife. Yep. He didn't have a wife. But yeah. Rucker Howard didn't turn to booze, he turned to coffee and chocolate. I mean <laughs> Which is better? Yeah. I prefer booze. <laughs> I'll take the booze. I mean, you feel better with the booze. Yeah, the you don't realize how terrible you feel because you're drunk. <laughs> that's why it's. That's why people do it. You got a heart attack, clogged <laughs> arteries, or the other one. Just, yeah, just, just waiting to happen. Diabetes. So this killer comes back and he finds the first one. Like he can kind of sense it. Yeah. He, like you he can hear this heart beating. Yeah. It's like I can hear your heart beating, and he like starts to have a panic attack. Yeah. At first I thought it was him. him. Yeah. I thought it was like, oh, he's about to have a heart attack, and die. It's some of both. It's yeah. like, it's like he can hear the, the thing's heartbeat, yeah. and it's triggering his his panic attack. Yeah. So he's like freaking out, and then he, oh, he starts to realize, okay, that's it's near, and a murder's about to happen. Yeah. So he's in this club. You see some some like some titties in there. See some like, yeah shaking around neon titties. Neon titties. Yeah. And this girl just gets her her fucking heart ripped out of her chest. And yes. just It's just a bloodbath everywhere. Yeah. And he's like, oh, he's back. This is the killer that this is the guy that killed his his partner. Yeah. And uh, you know, and that, that's where it goes. He's investigating. There's different. There's different murders. He gets hooked up with the with the annoying Dick, British Dick, Dick Durkin. Yeah, Dick Durkin. Whatever that means. Harley Stone and Dick Durkin. <laughs> what two better buddy cop movies that hate each other? Yeah. But, uh, oh yeah, you brought up a good point. So like, you find out he was suspended during this raid. They, I guess, book him or whatever. They give him one of his guns back, but he wants his other gun. And yeah. you're like, there's a safer gun to give him. Or <laughs> right, yeah, he's just like small <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can't be having the hand cannon around here. <laughs> Fucking hand cannon. Here's a, a medium sized hand cannon. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I need my cannon. It's so like, they bring yeah. him back? Uh, like, you're out of suspension because the killer's back. They don't really explain it. Yeah. yeah, it's just like, <laughs> never mind. I'm still pissed, but go on. Yeah. You're the best there is, even though you act like a maniac and you. You just, just freak out and shoot at the sky at random times. <laughs> but we need you. We need you, kid. You're the only one that knows about this killer. Get in there, Rutger Hauer. <laughs> hey, okay, Rutger Hauer. It's like... I almost feel like he's a parody of an action guy. Oh, yeah. Like, he looks badass a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you see him and he just looks like a, a, a chubby goofball. Yeah, Later, when like, I, when like, when you see him, the, yeah, when but I he's see, got his see like weird man, like yes. bandolier fucking thing. When and I at one point, he's like standing there, and he's like looking at the one, and he's just like, <laughs> and he's acting kind of goofy. Sometimes he acts a little goofy. Yeah. So it's like, how do I, like, I want to feel like this guy's a badass, but then like, <laughs> like he's sitting there with a pigeon on his head, yeah. you know, it's, <laughs> and he just says weird shit all the time. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. How to, I don't know about the character. Well, you know, like another thing. So the the girl he meets up with Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall. His his was his partner's, partner's wife. wife yeah. That was it. The partner did find out. Like they were fucking each other. No. That's what I thought. I thought there was something God brought out. It was like you were cheating on your partner. No, I you? think that happened after he died. I okay. think so. Yeah. I, I could be wrong. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but... Yeah. You know, it, like, meets up in a necropolis. Yeah. yeah. He, gives, he puts yeah. feathers at feathers. his Feathers at his grave. <laughs> yeah. Feathers at his buddy cop's grave. Yeah. All the wives at the, the, the morning wife's there. And she's like... Well, how, how about you go? How about we hang out tonight? Yeah. Takes her home. He passes out. And then this is getting into the weirdness of his oh, character. No. He passes. Okay, she invites him over. Nothing place. happens. 
he yeah. takes her to his place, nothing happens. It is a mess. It is it is it's so disgusting. bad a mess. And it just gets melted. Yeah, somebody Back throws in. a pigeon at her yeah. face. <laughs> but here, but this is the thing. But then later, when the monster thing, the killer, mm-hmm. bites her, yeah, she's sitting in the hospital, like all freaking out. That's when he kisses her. That's when he makes his first move. He kisses oh, yeah. her right before the doctor shows up. Like yeah. she, she said, "Please take me home and fuck yeah. me." And he went to sleep. But then yeah. when they're in the hospital, like he goes in, he makes the move. And then later on, when they're under attack, yes. under attack, it's he exploding. Makes his, yeah, that's when he does. He out. goes again. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck is this guy? What, what's you can't going say on? no when I'm doing this. Like, <laughs> like, you're too f- terrified to say yeah. no. You don't even know what's going on. You could die any moment. <laughs> Does that get you hot? Maybe it gets you hot. I guess, yeah. I guess he just does that to... It, it's it's not great. I, I don't know. I don't oh, know. No, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that it is. No. I guess he chooses those moments because they can't really say no. Well, she's like, know. finally, about time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I guess he can't read women because no. he, he's been so stuck on his killer this whole time. Just eating yeah, chocolate. Just eating chocolate. Angrily. And I think he passed out because he got a sugar crash and finally he went to sleep. His Carbs will do it. Yeah. yeah. He does fill up his cup halfway with sugar <laughs> before, he, <laughs> before he puts it. He on. did that. Yeah. Yeah. Half a cup of sugar and then water. Jesus. I. Uh, we have. This movie, I think this movie is, it gets better at the end, but in the first half, it's it's kind of dragging. Yeah. You aren't really seeing much happening. It's just kind of him walking around and just being weird yeah. a lot. And it's just, you know, he finds bodies with the hearts ripped out. They find a, a heart that's got a, it's got a bite taken out of it that the killer has sent to him yes. on ice. I don't understand how this killer it acts did like, this stuff. Yeah, it yeah. acts like, it, like it's like, a human. Yes, but it's not. It's clearly not a it's human. It's clearly not a fucking human. <laughs> How does it have access to this stuff to do this? How do, yeah, how is it like paying a delivery man to send this heart to the police? Yes. A heart on ice. It takes a shotgun. What, what, did, did it shoot at him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was shooting at him. Yeah. It's a shotgun, yeah. <laughs> this thing's fucking 12 feet tall. It is a giant alien venom thing. It looks just like yeah. venom. Yeah. <laughs> it's venom. I mean, they show it on the cover. It's better, right? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have any, you know, it's just all black, but it, it doesn't have any white on it. It's but it's basically yeah. Deep, long claw hands. Which I think is just claws, but yeah. So it, it kind of, the first half is like slasher movie, like detectives, like him and his partner are just sort of walking around trying to figure out what's going on. Nothing yeah. really happens. It's like, oh, it's something with the occult. Yeah. Zodiac. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Year of the Rat. Chinese Zodiac. Oh, okay. Oh. And then the last third, I think, is when it gets really good. It kind of becomes more of the predator kind of monster hunt movie. Yeah. They they figure they see the thing. Okay. The yeah. thing. They they don't at first say this think this thing is just a dude. It's just a crazy person. Then they figure out, they see it, and it's like, oh shit, this thing is a, a huge monster, yeah. and it's fucking with us, we need big guns. They go and get big guns, yeah. they track it down into like the sewers, and I, I think that's the best part. Oh, the whole sewer scene thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean... It's the most action I think. Yeah, I mean, specifically, this scene is amazing. When he is in this like, uh, there's like a subway car. He's in the subway car, and he's looking around, and then he turns around, and then the fucking monster is standing behind him. Oh yeah, it's so uh, like, like it's so his head. The, he's standing there, and the thing's chest is like here. Yeah, it's it's you know it's it's massive. Yeah. And then these fucking long claws, this black hand is like on his head, and he's just like, and it like little like takes his glasses yeah. off, and he's like. 
you know, and it's like got his got it was like around his throat, and, it, and he's just like frozen. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, like that thing looks scary. Yeah, it was really well done. The monster's mm-hmm. really well done, and that's the thing. Like, why not more of the monster? Yeah, they, more. They didn't have that was money a to put in the, Yeah, I know where you were. I mean, they had it. They had, whatever dude in that suit. You know, they didn't want to be in that suit for that night. Back in that time, soggy. Yeah. Like you know, yeah, you got you got the wetness. You're in this suit. You probably can't breathe in it. Chafing. Yeah. Like yeah. The, the dudes that were in the Ninja Turtles one. Yeah. They about died in that. Did shit. they really? Yeah. So, it was early yeah. '90s. Yeah. <laughs> and it was soggy. Yeah. Wet. Couldn't get out of it. And then, and then they're like they're running from it. Like so, I forget. Why does he let him? For some reason he lets him go, and then he's kind of running from it. And um, then, what was it? Dude starts shooting at him. Is that what the other it is? guy? Yeah. And he gets out, and they throw a bomb in. Yeah, but also the, the other one, the other good part, like. Kim Cattrall and him are on top of the train the, oh, yeah. of the car, and, then you the hand. and you see the claws come through, and then are like tearing yeah. through, chase them. On he's underneath there on top. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. I really like that. So it's like the monster is really cool, and, and, and it you know it really does look like Venom. <laughs> yeah. It looks just like Venom, but you don't you don't really know anything about it and that's kind of fun i'm fine with it yeah they're like oh he, he is the devil it has like yeah. the well they say he's the devil but yeah. at the same time they're like he's also got some rat stuff and he's like assimilating dna yeah. and some or something like scott foster's dna yeah, yeah it is like okay fine I, I don't need to know the backstory yeah. but why why do you even bring it up at all yeah. like just Okay, it's a monster. It's a crazy monster just looking to kill. I just wanted more monsters. Certain times a year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's go to final thoughts. Final thoughts? Yeah. Um, this one, I liked it. Not a lot. I don't know what all the craze is about. What's the craze, Brian? What is I the know. craze? I do, I do get like towards the end, like you said, it's really good. Just crazy cop guy on sugar, coffee, and chocolate. I mean, it's like, a funny character. Yeah. And you almost, it makes you think like, amp it up. Yeah. Amp up how fucking weird he is. Yeah. And and, and it's almost like it is true. Like the first half, he's all anxiety ridden and shit, yeah. and then it it flips to his partner, and he's like completely cool. He's just yeah. Like, it's like, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so hungry. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, we're going into like the, the the scoring for it. I'd probably give it about three point five. I would like there have been more, a bit more action in it. More monster for sure. Yeah, I mean, really, if there was more of that, I'd be cool with it. It'd be awesome. That is exactly. I was watching this movie and thinking three and a half. Yep, three and a half. Yep. And I, I don't. Well, it almost would have been three, but like the the ending with that scene, that scene, that one scene at the end with the the monster behind him. Yeah. That was that was really good. I, I just don't know if probably got killed too. It's kind of like, yeah, they electrocuted yeah. it, and they started throwing out constant one-liners out of nowhere. Yeah, like everybody was throwing out one-liners. Yeah, but why? <laughs> like I say, like some like things in this movie like did not really mesh with other things in this movie. Yeah, they, so, suddenly we're into like weird comedic. Weird. Yeah, let's just throw that in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. So I, I will agree with that. I would give it three and a half buckets of popcorn. I, it's a unique kind of. I, I like any kind of post-apocalyptic kind of thing. Yeah, and it did its own spin on it. And it's wet. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so wet. It's not water world. It's not water world. Oh, no. Definitely not that. But. It's a soggy London. There's two feet of water everywhere. Ah, what do we do? Oh, yeah. Save the polar like bears. We're not used to this already. Yeah. Yeah. Take an yeah. umbrella. Yeah. 
Just another day here. The global warming apocalypse. We went through one plague, we can survive another. Al Gore warned us. He did. Yeah. yeah. 2008. Huh? 2008. Yeah, I, I definitely think you should see it. If you're into if you're into uh, Rutger Hauer, if you're into Blade Runner, if you're into like Futuristic Rick, movies, yeah, weird, Rick, just weird, yeah, 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 yeah. It's fun. I can't say it's amazing, but it's a lot of fun. So. Yeah. Check it out. Split second. Yeah. Split second. Yeah, it's got venom in it. Think of it as the as the venom movie. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it looks like alien to me, but I do see the venom part of it. Though. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah. he. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you gotta go back and look at it. <laughs> Let us know what you think it is. We're gonna make a poll. Mm -hmm. You thought it looked more like a xenomorph or an alien, which is the same thing. It didn't have a the long dome. It, it didn't have, have the long dome, but it had like the front part with the teeth. But they were shark teeth. Yeah, they were. Yeah. But didn't alien have a shark teeth? No, alien was like, oh. was like weird fucking human teeth. Oh yeah, the, the front part of it, like with the canine and then the front feet. Yeah. They were like straight across. Yeah. This and guy had like, more... Yeah, he had more teeth. Spiky, spiky teeth. teeth, yeah. Evolved from rats. Because some rats, I, we don't know yet, For some reason he's called the Rat King in the credits. Yeah. It looked nothing like a rat. Oh, I, I don't know. No rat ears, no rat tail. Just a man, a giant man. He's either a rat or he's Satan. We still don't know. Don't know. I'm fine with that. And he wasn't completely dead at the end. No. Well, they set up for a sequel. Like, I think there's another one. I don't think it's the really? same one. Because the dude took the heart out. And then shot it. It's a ballsy move to do. He takes his gun to shoot it. Yeah, that's while another point. Fucking. It <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Fucking. Rutger Hauer living off of coffee and chocolate. Yeah. He's malnourished. He's There's no getting way. old and chubby. Old chubby. He punches yes. through this fucking twelve foot monster's chest and rips its heart out. I'm like, what the what? You have a steady hand <laughs> to shoot this heart. And then he shoots the heart as it's as he's beating in his hand. Yeah. No. No, no way. No. Don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> That man's still alive. You're not Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not. Rutger Hauer? Oh. Yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> we need to message him. We Where's his secret? Yeah. Rutger Hauer? Rutger Hauer. You, you watch this. Let us know. We want to interview you. Hey, we talked to Barry J. Gillis. Yeah. We can talk to you. Yeah. We can do this. Yeah. There might be something in it for you. Your own Blu-ray copy of that movie. <laughs> Right so you can arrow, we will it. give you my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs>